To investigate the phenomenon of diffraction, we're going to need a light source. In this experiment, we'll be using a laser. We have red and green lasers available. So that's just a different wavelength of the light coming out. We'll use lasers for two reasons. The first is that the it's a very narrow band of wavelengths. So it's the red laser only has red light of a very narrow distribution of wavelengths, uh, around 650 nanometers for this laser. The other reason is that the light is coherent. So all the photons coming out of the aperture of the laser are in phase, and they're not going to cancel out with each other as long as they uh, find themselves on the same optical path. So I'll put them here, the laser in the uh, optical track, which lets us hold everything in place and measure distances easily. The next thing we need is a slit to shine the laser through. So we have this wheel of single slits and some other fun shapes. We also have some double slits um, available to us. The single slit wheel has, besides a variable slit uh, at the top here, four single slits. Let me see if I can show you the actual uh, opening here. If I can get sort of feel like a weatherman trying to line these things up. I'm not sure if that allows you to see um, the actual opening. But anyways, the openings go from 0 0.02 millimeters all the way up to 0.16 millimeters. So 20 micrometers to 160 micrometers. So I'll place, starting with the smallest slit, I'll put it in the path of the laser there. And lastly, we have a screen to shine the pattern on. And I put a piece of paper on the screen so that we can trace the diffraction pattern. And then we can do our measurements on the diffraction pattern with the lights on after we've turned the laser off. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the laser and turn it on will help. I'll give you a better view here. So it's not quite shining on to the slit so I can use these thumb screws in the back to adjust where the laser is shining. So I just want to move it over to the left and down and looks like it's incident on the slit there. So I'm going to turn the lights off and see what we see. This was the thinnest 20 micron slit. Go ahead and zoom in and see what I'm doing. Trying to get the camera to focus a little better. Turn a few more lights out. Okay, well, I'm going to take my pencil and trace out the shape here. So I will just do a vertical line wherever there's a, a dark spot. Okay, now I will switch to the next slit. Doesn't look like it's appearing on the camera very well. Let me try to move up here. 
here. That looks better. So that's the second slit. Um, 20, 40 microns or something. I'll have them all labeled. Move the paper so that I don't trace over what I had before. Just do it on the back. And I'm just going to do a vertical pencil mark wherever I see a dark spot. Hopefully that gives us all the information we need. Okay. Then I will go for the third slit, a little bit larger. Okay, and then on the back of this one will be the largest of the four slits. Let me adjust the wheel of slits one more time. And this is the 160 micron. So I'll write 160 micron at the top. And I'll trace once again for the last time the dark. Spots. Probably don't have to do all of them. There's a lot for this one. This one has so many that I'm going to draw an arrow to the central spot so I don't get lost when we turn the lights on and the laser off. So let's turn the lights on now and we can look at the patterns we traced. Here is the 160 micron pattern. Give you a good view there. And I'll put the ruler over it. So you can see the spacing. few millimeters, a couple millimeters in between dark spots. And 
I'll flip it over and we will have the 80 micron. So this is the 80 micron pattern. And here it is with the ruler superimposed over it. And here's the where the central bright spot was. It's more obvious here. So you can count how many millimeters are between dark spots. And going backwards, we had the 40 micron pattern. That's here, it's 40 microns. The single slit was 40 microns. And here's the scale. And finally, the first one we did was a 20 micron slit. The central bright spot was there, of course. Hard to see the numbers there. That's better. Now let's pause it and to measure. Okay. Now the final part of this particular experiment, experiment without the changing the color of the laser or going to different patterns or number of slits. Actually, we are going to change the pattern. We're going to instead of instead of a slit use a, a hair, sort of the opposite of a slit. So here I have a hair, if you can see that, put on this piece of white paper so I don't lose it. And I'm going to use, instead of the wheel of single slits, even though it does have a, does it have a hair? Yes, it has a line setting over here. So that'd be sort of like a, a hair of a known length. Instead, I'm going to use this note card, and I'll fold it up and cut a hole in the center, like so. So that it can hold the hair right in the middle, and then I'll shine the laser on that and we can try from the pattern to determine what the width of this hair is. So we tape it up. We need a holder. So I will use an empty lens holder to hold the hair here. Just grab it to this like this. We want it to be vertical, so I'll put have it oriented this way. And I'll tape that on. Here is our hair taped to a holder. Oh, and we got the alignment just right, it looks like. You can see the laser. Hello. 
illuminating the hair. That hovering red dot is the laser on the hair. It looks like we're good. We can always adjust it if we need to, left and right. Turn the lights off again and we'll see what the diffraction pattern of a hair looks like. the diffraction pattern. We'll take it closer once again. So I will get one more piece of paper and trace this. And then we can infer the length, the width, sorry, of the hair. So put my piece of paper here. And mark the bright spot and then draw lines, tick marks. Oops. Through the dark spots in the diffraction pattern. Okay, should be enough. And we'll turn the lights back on. And hold it up to scale. our latest diffraction pattern. Here we are. This is get rid of the one underneath it. A hair. And here is your scale. need any other measurements taken, have any other ideas, feedback, happy to hear them. Thanks.